In section 4.1, we learn about the basic concepts of probability, which is finding out what's the probability of some event occurring. Let's take a look at this homework problem. It says, refer to the sample, damp sample data for pre-employment drug screening shown below. If one of the subjects is randomly selected, what is the probability that the test is a false positive? Who would suffer from a false positive result and why? Okay, so we're given a table with the results. And for the first problem, it's asking, what's the probability of a false positive test result? Well, in order, to figure, in order for us to figure out what the probability is, first we need to take a look at how many results there are altogether. So we have to add up all these numbers. So I have 40 plus 19 plus 14 plus 34. That gives us 107. So there's 107 total test results. Now a false positive would mean that the subject is not a drug user and the test was a positive result. So we have to look at how many times that happened. So if we take a look at subject is not a drug user and we have a positive test result, there's 19 outcomes. So now in order for us to find the probability of a false positive, we're gonna take 19 and we're gonna divide it by 107. So we have 19 divided by 107. Let's go ahead and use our calculator to divide this out. <clears throat> this gives us 0 0.1775. So that's all the decimal places I need because it's telling me to round to three decimal places. So rounding to three decimal places, this is approximately equal to 0 0.178. So we have 0 0.178. This would be the probability of a false positive result, 0 0.178. Okay. And now it's asking us who would suffer from a false positive result. Well, to put this into context, the subject that took this drug screen does not use drugs, and the test indicated that it was positive. So the person that would suffer is the person that tested for drug use. So let's take a look at our answer choices. So we know that the person that tested would suffer because it ended up a positive result and the subject does not use drugs. So the person tested would suffer because he or she would be suspected of using drugs when in reality he or she does not use drugs. So our answer choice would be A.